Hey team, Ray here and here, Kiwi Rider Podcast, MotoNZ.com, and of course occasional contributor to Kiwi Rider Magazine. Um, today's a good day because I have a big box from Derby Accessories. Derby Accessories, of course, are the people who do MotoGear.co.nz. They've got a, a massive swag of brands and products they do for all sorts of different motorcycles and of course gear as well. After a recent uh, trip over the 40-second traverse, uh, my trusty old LS2 Pioneer, gone. It uh, sustained a bit of a knock, and you can't be too safe when it comes to helmets and that sort of thing. So um, I put the call into Derby, the team there, uh, absolutely looked after me. Uh, and they've sent me this massive box. It's marked Fregali. So uh, let's see what they've sent. A classic YouTube unboxing. I don't do these very often. The uh, customary bit of cardboard. A bit of a pile on the ground. Right, what have we got? We've got a gorgeous set of blue FMF goggles. We'll get into those shortly. Ah, now, if you're a follower of MotoNZ.com, you'll notice uh, a few months ago, Cardo had a big press release and we covered it quite substantially. The, um, the new Spirit X line and the new Freecom X line. Now, I've been a, a long time user of the Cardo PackTalk Bold and there's quite often been a, uh, a comment on social media that they're so expensive and to be honest, yes, they are a little bit expensive, coming in at around about the $1,000 mark for the two units, which you need two units if you want to communicate with your mates. Uh, you only need one unit if you want to play music. This is the brand new Spirit HD. What a cool unit that is. Now this is the baseline from Cardo. The Spirit HD is what you need if you want to listen to music. And, and that's it. So you've got some headphones in your helmet, you've got a microphone if you want to take and make calls, and then you've got that unit on the outside of your helmet. So really looking forward to playing with the Spirit HD. Just a quick thing to note on that as well, it's the uh, Cardo Spirit HD Duo. Now the HD model, it, it actually does have intercom facilities. It can connect two riders together up to a distance of about 600 meters also has an FM radio and is completely waterproof. So the Spirit HD, just to clarify, can connect two riders together uh, with intercom if you need it to. The next step up in the Cardo line, if you want to talk with your mates, is the Freecom 2X. Now this is uh, the new range of uh, Cardo accessories. Cardo, um, it's right in the middle there, right just above the, the Spirit, but below the Packtalk Bolt. So, uh, priced accordingly, really looking forward to having a play with that as well. And this is the bulk of the box. Now I mentioned the LS2, it's done me about 18 months. It probably would have done me probably two and a half years at everyday wearing. Uh, it would last you at least five years if you're only wearing it occasionally. But I've made the step up. Let's get rid of this massive box here as well. I've made the step up and gone with something a bit higher in the in the range of helmets we've gone for the arrow commander in xl oh i've been looking forward to this new helmet day is almost as good as new bike day let's see what comes in the box now arrow are uh, handmade helmets in italy i believe Retailing around the $750 mark. What do we get in the box? We've got some accessories. Instruction manual and uh, a, a, uh, an action camera clip. Now this is one of the only helmets I've come across that has built-in mounts for an action camera. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can put your action camera right up on top there. Really catering for the market there. We've got a massive chin curtain. That's going to keep the wind out from blowing up under my helmet on a cold day. And of course all the do's and don'ts with the helmet. 
nice bit of guff there. Now this is the piece de resistance, the, uh, the main game, the main event, the arrow commander. Oh. Now a lot of helmets make a big thing about being uh, pin lock ready, but what's quite cool is the arrow commander comes with a pin lock. I like the little touches. All right, nice silky bag here. Let's take the Mac Daddy out of its bag for the first time. Oh, look at that. The Arrow Commander helmet. Beautiful. Ha, ah, new, new helmet day. I said it before. It's almost as good as new bike day. Now the Arrow Commander comes with uh, the Peak. It's obviously an adventure style helmet, but you can take this off and run it without the Peak. It's also got inside a trick little drop down sun visor, which is quite cool. And it's a solid thunk going up and down. So you're, uh, you're gonna know when it's up and down. So thank you very much Derby Accessories, motogear.co.nz for sending me that. Of course, with the uh, the pin lock, anti fog, all the little bits and accessories. Now, with this helmet and the uh, sun visor in up mode, and the main visor in up mode, you can also run a sweet little pair of goggles. And I haven't had a set of goggles since my days of riding motocross and trail riding. So um, I asked for a set, and they sent me these. And when I say I asked for it, I did shell out some hard-earned cash. Just in the interests of being completely uh, transparent. 100% FMF goggles. Outstanding. And of course, if you're gonna be going to do some tough stuff like the 40 second traverse, well, you need eye protection because that's important, but you need all that ventilation as well. Goggles are definitely the way to go. Brilliant. What do they come with? A second eyepiece. Nice little bag to keep everything safe. Beautiful. I really do like the colors of this. They call it, um, Progress red and blue, I think. Progress red, blue. We're trying to make progress here anyway. Let's try it on. Oh yeah. Oh, fits like a glove. Now the, um, the Arrow Commander is fastened with these double Ds here, which, um, it's new for me, I haven't, well it's not new, my old helmets had double Ds, but I haven't had a helmet with a double D fasting in a very long time. You do get used to it though. I love how it, um, it feels a little bit tight in the cheek pads here, but uh, that's gonna soften out slightly. It's got a good solid fit all the way around. Arrow make two sizes of shell, and then they do your small, your medium, your large XL, and your 2XL. So your large through to 2XL use a bigger shell size, and your smaller ones obviously use the sh smallest shell size. When you're looking at a helmet, it's really important to try them on. Don't just go with measurements because everybody's head is a different shape. Some people can have a tight spot on this side of the head, but not on this side, and vice versa. Uh, some people can be tight in the front and the back. You've got to try all those helmets on. So this helmet is the upper mid or the lower high end of the spectrum as far as price goes. Uh, has uh, an ECE rating, which is important when it comes to safety. And for me, it just it just grabs the, the, the entire head and just feels nice and solid. But it's also quite light. I'll insert weight figures uh, on the screen there for you so you can get an idea of how much it weighs, but it's solid, it's not moving, and it feels good. And I can still get glasses on inside the helmet. 
Now, some people, when they wear glasses inside the helmet, they complain about the glasses fogging up. There are things you can do to your glasses to stop them fogging up, anti-fog layer. Some people say just cover them in a bit of um, a bit of shampoo and then clean it off and they'll stop fogging up. But at uh, the end of the day, the glasses fogging up is not the fault of the helmet. You can always wear contact lenses or something like that. But I'm really liking this helmet. I think it feels great. There's um, places inside for the microphone. There's cutouts in the EPS for the uh, Cardo speakers, which I'm going to install. And I'm really liking it. I'm really looking forward to going for a ride. And from a wearer's point of view, the uh, the goggles fit beautifully. Uh, these appear to have a slightly tinted lens, a little bit darker than uh, what I'm used to for goggles. But um, I'm also going to get the tinted visor over the top. So you don't wear the goggles, obviously, when you're using the visor. But um, hey, I'm, I'm happy. I'm a happy man. Another cool feature of the Arrow Commander is that it has this little grommet down the back here. So you can um, you can mount your Cardo. And unfortunately, the only downside to the shell is you can't use the clip-on Cardo that goes in between the EPS and just clamps onto the uh, the outer shell. But you, uh, you use the adhesive mount, you stick it on the side there, and in theory, you've got this little grommet here where you can pass all the wires through. Instead of having everything underneath, it all goes through that hole and tucks into the uh, the lining of the helmet nice and stealthily. And a box. <coughs> okay. The Spirit HD and the Cardo Freecom 2X. I'm going to be unboxing these in a future video, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come along with me for the ride. We're going to be testing out this helmet in a future video as well. I can't wait. Brilliant. Hey, thanks for uh, sticking with us. Do check out MotoNZ.com. That's the website with uh, all the photos, the extra bits and pieces, and kind of the hub between this YouTube channel, the podcast, Kiwi Rider podcast, and everything else I do. Everything in written form, and all the links to the videos go up there. So uh, jump on MotoNZ.com and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. That'd be great. Hey, thanks, team. Uh, I'm going to go and play with my new helmet. <laughs>